John, that's right. Mayor Quentin Lucas talked about this potential 21 mile line yesterday during a press conference. While it is not clear where specifically downtown this line would end, there are other challenges because this line would have to go through multiple communities. That's not the only challenge either. The other is how to pay for it because what was announced this week is financing. David Johnson is the chair of the Kansas City Regional Transit Alliance. He says there's a difference between financing a project to link downtown and the airport and actually funding it. This project isn't new either. Johnson says something like this is feasible. Every prior proposal runs up against a problem with local funding, which the first study of light rail to KCI found in the 70s. Uh, the city had an opportunity to get almost 90% of the project directly funded by the federal government because federal investment in transit was new at that time. So they were encouraging cities to invest. Uh, by investing more of their own dollars. Johnson says the city walked away from that back then. 50 years later, Kansas City leaders are debating the exact same thing. We have to do the work for them. At Tuesday's announcement, Mayor Quentin Lucas agreed. The $15 billion pot of money from the U.S. Department of Transportation is not just available to them. It's not just a direct check immediately for that. What you saw in the workshops that we've had with USDOT and others is to say that we've identified $15 billion of worthy projects. It's the U.S. Department of Transportation saying we see the worthiness of this. And now it's saying let's get to work. So why is this project being talked about again now? Johnson believes it has to do with the success of the new KCI terminal up north and more so than downtown living expanding over the past couple of years. So this all has to do with the airport having its busiest September ever just one month ago. We're live downtown. I'm Jonathan Katz, Fox 4, working for you.